Hey everyone, welcome back to Elad Ning Bridge. I hope you guys are doing good and staying safe. So this is going to be a really different video on my channel and I'm doing it for the very first time, like talking about the companies and why this video? Because this was one of the most often asked queries, like multiple time sparring data engineers has reached out to me and were asking that what kind of companies we can apply and the kind of companies who are actually hiring for the data engineer role. So I'm pretty sure this video will be really, really helpful because along with the company names, I have included three things for every company like the job role the required skill sets and annual ctc just a small disclaimer that whatever information i will be providing in this video the target audience will be like the fresh grads and the candidates who are having experience between one to four years of experience probably in the later videos i'll be talking about the senior level role as well and in the first version of company videos i will be covering only top 10 service based companies which are hiring for the data engineering role and why i started with the list of service based companies that is because of the difficulty level of interviews. You can crack them easily if you have done a decent level of preparation and also based on the compensation range. So in the upcoming videos, I will be bringing the list of top 10, top 20 product based companies, startup, consulting firm and many more, whatever I can cover remote job or the companies which are outside India, everything I'll try to cover for the data engineering role. But I also need some motivation and I want this information to reach maximum number of people and you can do that. Make sure to like it in the big numbers and share your thoughts in the comments so that this video can spread and more and more people can get to know more about such kind of companies who are hiring for the data engineering role. And if you're new to my channel and watching any of my video for the very first time, make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the notification icon and guys i have a really amazing announcement for you all so if you are someone who is actually preparing for the interviews that means a student who is preparing for the placements and anyone working professionals who is actually trying to prepare for a company switch and also looking for some dedicated consolidated top-notch resources that too free and this amazing platform coding ninjas can help you in that journey and their new initiative which is really great named as code studio and one amazing part is every resource is free here. They have made it free for you, like your preparation, your journey. So you can even see some really amazing things related to interview guide for the product based companies, DSA, computer programming, Java, C++, DBMS, Python, JavaScript, fundamentals of the web development and many other important technologies, tech stack related things. And the free content is available here. So I have provided the link in the description. Make sure you check this platform because these resources are completely free and really amazing content. And these free resources will definitely help you in your interview preparation journey. So guys, here is the list of those top 10 service based firm. And guys, one thing I want from your side, like after watching this video, while watching this video, if anybody belong to this company and watching this video and belong to the same profile, the data engineering, then you can probably put your inputs in the comment section as well. It will help the audience that what kind of profile you are working, what kind of skill sets you are working. And it would be great if you can even mention the compensation range as well. So that would be a really great input from your side. And from the audience side, like after watching this entire detail, what you feel about these companies, like do some comparison and pick top three service based firm for the data engineering role and mentioned it in the comment section. At the end of the video, I will definitely share my top three picks as well. So let's talk about these companies one by one and whatever information I have provided. So the first company is ZS Associates. This company is also working in the big data domain and I uh, will be talking about the job role. So they have actually kind of these three roles. Uh, so for any of these profiles, if you see any open job opportunity, so that means it is actually for the data engineering role. So don't hesitate if you find it feel free to apply. It would be great start for you. This profile business technology solution consultant, data engineer, big data engineer or big data developer. So these kind of profile names will be there. So don't get confused. They are specifically for the data engineering role. Let's talk about the required skill sets. So the required skill set is understanding of Spark, Hive, Hadoop and in the languages, Python, Java, Scala, DSA is important. As I have already mentioned, you can watch my previous videos. SQL, again, important RDBMS, NoSQL and for the cloud perspective, it can be anything AWS, Azure, GCP. Now talking about the annual CTC range, that is INR 9 LPA to 14 LPA. And guys, one thing for the CTC part that will definitely, definitely depend on some previous factors as well. Let's say if you worked in any of the company, then how much hike you will be getting, right? The standard market hike. And if you have some counter offers, that will also add a good factor in the salary negotiation. So this annual CTC range, it is quite common, right? Based on the inputs from the different, different people. I have mentioned this annual CTC range here. Now let's talk about the another company, the Accenture, obviously the well-known, uh, very popular uh, in the service domain and working in different different domains not only the big data and multiple services they are providing so let's talk about the job roles they have for the data engineer 
so one could be big data application developer second is the data engineer big data engineer consultant so these uh, three common profiles will be there and apart from that there could be uh, multiple more because sometimes i have seen companies are even hiring on the cloud platform basic like big data developer for aws big data developer for the azo gcp something like that but these are the three common which is in the essential now talk about the required skill sets so in the required skill sets they have like hadoop spark kafka apache fling very good one the fling i mean for the uh, real time streaming if uh, any of you haven't explored it you should definitely do that and the languages dsa important and in terms of the sql uh, dbms in no sql databases they have like uh, HBase, Cassandra, MongoDB, CouchDB, Memcached, DynamoDB and in the cloud part this is like a or kind of thing AWS or Azure or GCP so that's how you can actually prepare and if you have these sort of skill sets that's good now let's talk about the annual CTC so for this data engineering profile they have annual CTC range of INR 8 lakhs per NM to 10 lakhs per NM now let's talk about the third one the fractal analytics this is good this one is definitely good they are extensively working in the big data they have very very good use cases and serving multiple companies in the data analytics domain and the job role they have is the data engineer the required skill set again they are asking for python pyspark like it was mentioned specifically like python spark that means probably they will work on the pyspark side hive hadoop sql rdbms no sql data warehousing and they also focused on the AWS plus Azure side as well. Those specific things they mentioned like Azure Data Factory, Data Lake, Storage, Azure SQL, Azure Data Breaks, HD Insights and many other things. Now let's talk about the CTC part. So CTC for the fractal analytics, it could range from the INR10 LPA to the 12 lakhs per annum. Now talk about the third service based firm that is the Tiger Analytics. They are also working in the domain of the data analytics serving different different clients and providing big data solutions to them next their job role is the data engineer and let's look at the required skill sets they want so hadoop ecosystem understanding like the hdfs high scoop kafka elk stack and in terms of the uh, computation spark uh, language scala python and core java advanced java if you have that knowledge that's good in the nosql databases they are looking for like hbase cassandra mongodb sort of understanding cloud aws azure and along with that databricks and snowflake understanding so these were the some of the required skill set for this profile at tiger analytics and the annual ctc that can range from the inr 8 lakhs per annum to the 15 lakhs per annum now let's talk about the dunhambi they are also really good i must say so job role they have the data engineer common profile and the required skill sets they are looking for in terms of the languages python java scala go as well linux git understanding etl spark hadoop sql rdbms no sql they are also looking for the orchestration tools like airflow and uh, anything let's say azkaban uzi which are doing the orchestration and workflow management related things and in terms of the uh, cloud providers and in terms of the cloud they are looking for the aws azure or gcp so these were the required skill sets let's talk about the annual ctc annual ctc can range from inr 9 lakhs per annum to the 18.5 lakhs per annum good one now let's talk about the impetus this is also a company service based firm which actually working in the big data ecosystem so they have a job role for the big data engineer named profile as the big data engineer and i have repeated this thing multiple times that uh, don't just get confused with the profile synonyms like the data engineer big data engineer big data developer data developer they are really common and synonyms of each other and work will be the data engineering so this is the job role let's look at the required skill sets so java scala python adds the language understanding of hdfs hive pig scoop and in terms of the uh, computation or the streaming kind of things they are looking for the spark spark streaming storm kafka apache solar and the cloud providers aws as a gcp quite common like i hope after looking at the required skill sets you will definitely try to figure out what all the common skill sets right which are really common across these companies that means you can treat it as a must to have a skill set right so sql rdbms new sql these things as well annual ctc will range from INR 7.5 lakhs per annum to 14 lakhs per annum. Now let's talk about the third one. Again, the famous one, the Cognizant. They have a job role name as the data engineer. Their required skills are, whoa, ETL processing languages, Python and Scala. They're looking for Spark, Spark streaming and Hive, Spark SQL, 
SQL, RDBMS, and within the RDBMS in the transactional databases, they are specifically looking for Oracle and Teradata and NoSQL databases, cloud again, same three top notch ones, AWS, Azure, GCP. And in terms of the annual CTC, it ranges from five lakhs per annum to nine lakhs per annum. Now let's talk about the seventh one, the EXL services. They are also working in the big data space. The job role is the data engineer and the required skill sets they have. Let's look at it. They are looking for a spark, big data, fundamental understanding. And within the Hadoop ecosystem, they are looking for Hive and understanding of Impala, data warehousing, languages, Python, Java, Scala, SQL, RDBMS, no SQL. And for the dashboarding, they are looking for Tableau and other BI tool. Let's say the Power BI and anything else. And for the cloud, they are looking for AWS, Azure and GCP. Let's look at their annual CTC. What's the range there? Uh, so it varies from the INR 5.5 lakhs per annum to the 10 lakhs per annum. Let's talk about the ninth one. Very, very famous. Definitely the IBM. So let's see what role they have. That is the data engineer again. And their required skill sets is in terms of the languages, Python, Scala, Java and Hadoop, Hive, Pig, Spark, Git, SQL, RDBMS, NoSQL. They also focus on AWS and Azure most like Azure Data Factory, Databricks, Data Lake Storage. And let's look at their annual CTC. So it can range from INR 7 lakhs per annum to 16 lakhs per annum. Now let's look at the final one, the 10th one that is the Capgemini and their job role is the data engineer and their required skill set would be the Python, Java, Scala, Hadoop, Hive, Apache Spark, Apache Flink, Apache Beam. Unix understanding, SQL, RDBMS and within the RDBMS they are looking for Oracle, MySQL, NoSQL, they are looking for MongoDB, they highlighted it, that means it would be a good one and apart from that you can have other as well, right? Now the cloud part, AWS, GCP and Azure. Now at the end let's look at their annual CTC range that can vary from INR 5 lakhs per annum to 12 lakhs per annum. So I have explained uh, the important information be it the required skill set, the job profile name and also the expected annual CTC range as well. So you can definitely target these companies being an aspiring data engineer and if you are at the entry level fresher and in the beginning as I mentioned based on the difficulty of interviews and other factors uh, you can start your data engineering career from here and once you gain some level of experience one year two years and you get a good understanding of data engineering how it works and different kind of skill sets after that you can definitely target good product based companies startups right and you can enhance your skill sets uh, you can increase your compensation and every other aspect so that would be the idea and that's why I started with the service based companies as well. And obviously there could be more than 100,000 companies which are service based companies and also hiring for the data engineering role. But obviously I cannot mention everything in one single video. But these were the topics based on some crisp analysis. And that's why I have included here. And if you have any opinion, feel free to share it in the comment section. That would be really helpful for the entire data engineering community because of this cross information exchange. And that's what I'm trying to do here. And yes, I mentioned one thing like at the end of this video, I will mention my top three picks. So from my side, the top three picks would be Fractal Analytics and the Dunhambi and the third one, the Accenture. So these three will be my top three picks in terms of the service based companies for the data engineering role. So you can share your top three picks after watching all this analysis and every aspect, share it in the comments. So that's what I had for you guys in this video. I hope you would have enjoyed this information. And if you feel this is really informative and it can help you to figure out which company to start with, make sure to like this in the big number so that this information can reach to maximum number of people. Share your suggestions and thoughts like what kind of video you are expecting from my side in upcoming days. And again, if you are new to my channel, watching any of the video for the very first time, make sure to subscribe and press the notification icon. I will see you guys in next week. Till then, just stay safe, stay home, take care of yourself and your family too.